Uh, they're they're up from my area um, in the Northeast, so um, know about them a little bit. Uh, I've played with some guys that go there. A pretty good ball club. Um, so we're going to have our hands full this week, so we can't pay attention to the name on the front of the jersey. We know that they have a pretty good team, and uh, we're going to have our hands full all weekend. What is your area? I said Northeast, but it's more Mid-Atlantic. But Where are you from? Virginia. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. Didn't memorize you played in uh, Cape Cod? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> yeah. that's how you kind of know people mm-hmm. there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody wants to know, uh, Paul said you found some little mechanical adjustments this week? With the, with yeah, we, we were um, looking at video for me uh, during the summer uh, and compared it to what I was doing on Friday. And there was just one small thing that was um, uh, out of order. Um, we think that was creating a little bit of a timing issue. So we've been working on that in side sessions this week and feel like I'm more synced up and ready to go tomorrow. Do you feel like you're, it's a constant evolution for you? It seems like every year we've, we've, we've kind of had this thing where, you know, you, you're figuring it out, but you're always... You're, you're always reliable and like, you know, you're always going to show up, you're always going to give your best effort. You know, you're going to have to take the results that kind of come with that. Yeah, I mean, you know, you just have to trust the process um, throughout this whole journey. Um, and that's what I've tried to do. I uh, just have to continue to work hard, um, you know, and believe uh, we're not too far away. Um, and, you know, it was very close to, to being where I wanted to be on Friday and you just got to keep chipping away at it. And I think um, you know, tomorrow uh, should be better. I mean, you're, you're an intense guy. I mean, what are the days after, you know, a, a rough outing like this? How do you handle that? I mean, you just have to have a quick memory uh, uh, in uh, baseball. Short memory? Short memory. Yeah, short short memory. memory. A little off today. You have to have a short memory of baseball. Um, you just have to put it behind you. Um, realize that uh, no one game uh, deciphers the whole season. So, um, you know, you just have to you know, take, take each game with a grain of salt and continue to work, continue to trust the process, um, and just try to be better week in and week out. What did you see when you went back and watched the tape from the last set? Mostly uh, with my leg kick. Uh, it was a little uh, lower this Friday than it was during the summer. Um, so, you know, naturally your leg's going to land a little bit too soon, um, and then your arm's going to drag behind you. So when I'm elevating my leg more, that's giving my arm time to catch up and get everything in sync. So that's just what we've been working out throughout the week. You've been around the team long enough to know Chris Reed pretty well. Uh, what was it like to have him come back and just to see him contribute again the other night? Man, it's awesome. Um, can't say enough good things about Chris. Uh, you know, the presence that he has in the big out, uh, you, know, you, can't, you can't match that. And he does a lot for our team outside of the field. Um, and it's just awesome to have him back out there with us. Does it take guys like that? that kind of can rise to the occasion whenever asked. I mean, do you have to have one or two of those guys every year? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, you have to, it takes all sorts uh, to make up a team. I mean, you need, you know, your, your leaders on the field, but you need guys off the field as well uh, to make an impact. And I would say Chris is one of those guys. I'm not saying that he's not a good ball player, because obviously he's very talented. And we've seen that throughout his career. But, um, you know, again, just what he does on the field and off the field for us, I think makes a huge difference for our team. You guys came in together, how have you seen Todd kind of grow and thrive in the Spurs' role? Oh, man, it's it's awesome. Um, you know, I feel like Todd's really taken off, especially this last year, and it's uh, it's been fun to see uh, his career unfold and watch him really find himself. Um, and we're going to rely on him big time this year, so we need him to keep doing what he's doing. Talk a little bit about Brock and the confidence you had in him behind the plate. How has that relationship started in, this first, in your first start on Friday? Oh, man, he's done awesome so far. Uh, Brock is a warrior back there. I mean, at the very least, you know that you know, he's going to give you 100%, um, and he's going to give you his, his maximum effort. Um, and uh, I think he's been a crucial part for us so far. Um, he can't say enough good things about him. Uh, the presence that he has, both on the field and just vocally, uh, you know, commanding a lot out of the pitching staff, I think goes a long way, and I'm excited to continue to watch him do his thing. His ability to just make so many plays behind the plate, does that give you more confidence? And with throwing breaking balls, throwing difficult pitches. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, especially when you have runners in scoring position, it's a tight ball game, and then you want to get that breaking ball down in the dirt. You know that you have a little bit more confidence with it, knowing that Brock's back there, and he's going to work his butt off to keep that uh, pitch in front of him. So he's been tremendous. What about the chemistry of this team? Do you feel like it came together a little quicker than maybe it has in years past? Yeah, I mean, it's no shot at any of the past teams that we've had, but this team just kind of seems like it has a special chemistry about it. Um, can't really explain it, but everyone seems pretty focused on the same goal, um, which is you know going out there and you know being the best team in the country and uh, representing LSU to the best of our ability. So, um, yeah, it, it's been a good chemistry, and I'm excited to see us going forward.